message spirit has for us today. We have, let's see, what's facing us is by the book. And I believe that means, you know, living life a certain way, people wanting you to be a certain way, uh, could be family-wise or uh, society-wise or, you know, what type of job you have or um, how much money you make or what you do during your day, you know, facing by the book type feelings um, in a certain area of your life <clears throat> and needing to uh, you know make sure that you're not doing by the book in certain areas of your life that if it's not something that you want to do we had that came out first between the worlds so I also feel like with between the worlds there's so much with this it can be I feel like a lot of times you're in the astral and the physical at the same time and going through all of those uh, at the same time in the realms and it also could be you know balancing your light and dark energy because you have to have both to be able to live and experience and grow um, you see it's cloudy and then light and bright balancing self and it also could be maybe stuck some people could feel stuck between worlds um, between the two in some kind of way not being able to balance and maybe some are balancing but needing to balance to because we are part of both the material and the spiritual is one and the same and we have thinker so you're probably a deep thinker probably think a lot um, maybe uh, aware of self and maybe sometimes critiquing self a little too much and you know instead of just having fun like people say you know and I know not all life is just going to be a party but you know not you know, judging so much on self and actions and having forgiveness and compassion towards self. But there definitely with thinker, people need to I feel like think we have by the book up here. So think of the ways that you're doing things because someone told you to, you know, like a parent that you should be this way or certain people in society or a teacher or a friend, but is that something that you truly believe in or you're truly um, about, you know, does it make sense? You know, does it make sense for you? We have blessed, so we are very much blessed right now. I feel like we're always blessed. You just have to see the abundance that's around everywhere. 
you know, with everything. You might not have everything you want, but it's like in a video game. If you have everything that you want, then it doesn't make it fun anymore. But I don't think we'll ever get to that point anyway. But being blessed, I feel like many are um, enjoying and relaxing in the abundance that they have. You know, it could be family, friends, a place, water, food, you know, anything like that. Or just knowing that spirit has your back. Uh, just blessed by all the love that is around because everyone truly loves you. Even if they're not good at showing it or, you know, having issues. It says there's a change in the wind. So, and then we have chaos and conflict. So I also believe that with a lot of chaos and conflict that's been going on, and with this picture, it's like a zebra, but and then it has like it was covered in a giraffe. So, a change in the wind, which is a blessing, is this conflict, I feel like, that's inside of us, of all the things that the world tells us what we should be doing, what, with our time and our day, and where we should be at, who we should be talking to, you know, all those things and what we should like, what we should want for our life, and what, how we express ourselves is changing. Because to the true form of who we really are, instead of having all these things that are placed upon you that you're supposed to be, or who they wanted you to be, or thought you should be, or look like, and but you're not. You're not in any of those things. So, I feel like facing this by the book, it's kind of like facing the programs and all the different things of how people feel like, oh, your life should be, or what you should be doing, and things like that that you are changing those things that you know that are not you and make you someone who you're not and seeing those ideas or those different things that people have put on you To be true self, standing up to truth, being a thinker, to see with the third eye in both worlds, and to know that you're blessed all the time, especially by seeing this, by seeing that you don't need to do things by the book. That's not going to get you anywhere, except for conflict and chaos. But there's a change in the wind. Learning how to balance between the worlds. Changing your mind on certain things. Let them tell us who we should be or what we should be doing, our wants and desires, and what we like. We are here to create our reality, even though we are one of many that's a part of the all. You know, we're not supposed to control someone else or 
save someone else, we save ourselves. Because we can control ourselves. And from where we create at, make something beautiful. Alright, you guys have an amazing day. Just wanted to stop in and give a little bit of a spiritual message. And uh, have an amazing rest of your day. Or night. Bye.